Hey wrestling fans, welcome to another episode of Jake's Wrestle Vlogs. On this episode, I'll give you a rundown of the so far scheduled matches for WrestleMania 33. Also, a little bit of possible rumor news for Hogan possibly showing up at WrestleMania 33 as well. First off, we're gonna I'll give you a little rundown of the current scheduled matches for the WWE. First off, we'll go with the Andre the Giant Memorial um, Battle Royal. Right now, only a few people have um, declared that they're in this match. So far, it's Kurt Hawkins, Big Show, Apollo Crews, and Mojo Raleigh. Um, more to be announced, of course. Um, hopefully, it'll be a good match. You never know what can happen in that match. It's always fun. It's also a good way for you know young talent to display what they can do. And and so, hopefully, they'll put somebody over like Apollo Crews or Mojo Raleigh. But um, you never know what could happen. Um, but it should be a good match. Also, there's going to be the Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles match, which I don't really understand the purpose of, but it's what the WWE wants to do. It's what they're going to do. If you ask me, there's better better people you could put in the match there against AJ Styles, but uh, that's one of the matches. You also have another tag match, or you'll have a tag match. You'll have John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Miz and Maurice, of course. Um, that's been an ongoing thing for the last few weeks. I've I think that'll be an entertaining match. You know, I'm kind of sad that it's John Cena in a tag match. I, I really enjoy seeing John Cena, you know, in a big match type situation. You know, one-on-one -on -one against somebody because he's just amazing to watch. But hey, watching John Cena beat up The Miz sounds like a really fun thing to me. And then you've got, of course, Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. And that should be a good match, of course. Um, Roman Reigns, pretty good wrestler. I think he'll do really well working with The um, the Undertaker. In what is um, expected to be The Undertaker's very last WWE match. Of course, we've said that the last few times that he stepped foot in the ring at WrestleMania. There'll be a SmackDown Women's title match, which will be Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James, Carmella, Natalia, Becky, and Becky Lynch. Um, and depending on injuries or what happens between now and then, that could change. But right now, that's the that's the set match uh, for the moment. Also, there'll be the Raw Tag Team Title match. You'll have Enzo and Big Cass versus Sheamus and Cesaro versus the champions, Gallows and Anderson. That should be an entertaining match. It could be fun for the fans. It should be kind of exciting because you know you've got three really good tag teams there. You know, they're probably three of the better tag teams since the age of, I guess, the original TLC matches. When you had, you know, when you had Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy and you had Edge and Christian and you had the Dudley Boys and stuff. It was amazing back then. This should this this match right here should really be, you know, should, should really just blow the roof off the place. But you never know what could happen. The WWE, you know, everything, things can change. But hopefully this will be a really good match. Moving right along, we'll have the United States title match, which is, of course, Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens after Kevin Owens um, kind of savagely attacked Chris Jericho a few weeks ago. Kevin Owens said the only way he'd get a match at WrestleMania against... Or Kevin Owens said the only way Chris Jericho gets a match against him is to put his title on the line. So Chris Jericho will be putting his title on the line against Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. And who knows what could happen in that match because it's rumored that Chris Jericho may be going away for a while. But it's also been reported by different places uh, like uh, the Wrestling Observer that it's possible that Chris Jericho could hang around. Um, even though his uh, band Fozzie does go on tour in May, It apparently his schedule is left open on Monday. So you never know what could happen. If he's really enjoying his run right now, he may do both. You never know. And moving right along, we got the Raw Women's Title match: Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair. Um, unfortunately, that's how it's going to go down. It's going to be a triple threat match. Um, I would rather see Bailey, you know, get a clean win on Charlotte Flair, possibly. But who knows if Bailey can pull off the win here? She looked really strong. Bill push her real, real well. And if Sasha Banks wins, you know, it's probably going to be because of a you know some kind of heel turn type move of some sort. Hopefully they don't let Charlotte Flair win again, but she's got the name. She may build, She may end up getting the win. Who knows? 
Then you'll have the WWE title match, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton, of course. That's been a long time coming. You know, that's one of the probably one of the better built storylines of the WWE in the last year or so. Because I mean that that's one of the few long term storylines that they've been, you know, basically burning you know, burning through, you know, basically since Survivor series. So should be a really good match and who knows how that'll turn out, but it should be a really good match. And then of course the big anticipated match of the night at WrestleMania 33 is the universal title match between Brock Lesnar and the champion, Bill Goldberg. Um, should be a fun match. Um, I've got a feeling the WWE title match is probably going to be, you know, outdo it a little bit, in my, just in my my opinion. But that's because Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, it looks like a lot more enjoyable match. I mean, come on, the last time I saw Goldberg and Brock Lesnar really get after, you know, you know, go at it at a fight or in a wrestling match, it lasted very, like a very, very short time, both times. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this match will go longer than a minute 20. That would be really good for the fans because I guarantee you people are going to be pissed if they go in and they run another minute 20 match or two minute match as on the WrestleMania card. It would be just it'd be freaking insane. So hopefully that's not what happens. Hopefully it's a really good match and it goes longer than a minute 20 to two minutes. But these are the supposed matches that are on the card. They're scheduled to be on the card at WrestleMania 33. As we get closer and we get a final card, I'll give you my uh, picks. Uh, last time, I think I went, you know, I think I went 50, you know, 50, like 50, 50 on my, um, my guesses. Um, hopefully this time I'll be closer. But like I said, as soon as we got a confirmed card, I'll give you that information. And I'll give you a, a, a rundown of who I think is going to win every, you know, each match and everything. Also, one last little bit of information. It's been reported that um, Hulk Hogan is scheduled to be in Orlando the same weekend as WrestleMania. It's also, you know, it's being rumored that it's possible that um, Hulk Hogan may show up to WrestleMania 33 and have something to do in the in the show. You never know what's possible in the WWE anymore, but as of right now, it's just a rumor. You never know what could happen. But if you like the content, please um, hit the um, like button, subscribe. Um, Twitter and Facebook links are in the description and have a great day.